Okay, let us discuss question 8. Okay, 2 moles of an ideal gas expanded isothermally from a volume of 30 liters to 50 liters while the temperature was 300 Kelvin. Calculate the pressure change during this process and also the amount of work done by the gas. Okay, so here it provides uh, the number of mole yeah, of gas, yeah, number of mole N, and this is a kind of um, isothermal expansion. Yeah, isothermal expansion. Um, yeah, isothermal expansion. And he said, I give us the initial volume and the final volume uh, in liters. Huh? We must change to SI unit. Liters must change to SI unit, meter cube. Okay, so initial volume I put, at, put as V1, final volume I put as V2. And then given us the temperature 300 Kelvin. So this is the temperature. Okay, we need to find the pressure change. That means we need to find delta P. Okay, and also finally find the work done. Okay, we yeah, first of all we look at uh, question one. Okay, how to find the pressure change during this process? Okay, uh, I already written down the information here, number of mole, uh, isothermal expansion. Okay, so what isothermal expansion? Uh, what does this tell you? Okay, these words. Isothermal means uh, same temperature. Yeah. Uh, same temperature so temperature is constant so for this process we have identified that we have identified that the temperature is constant okay temperature constant at 300 kelvin and then this is an expansion process expansion process means volume increase uh, when the gas expand when the gas expand means the uh, work done by the gas so positive work done okay Expansion will have positive work done. Okay, the gas do work by pushing the piston up when expansion. So the the gas do work. Yeah, positive work done for expansion. Okay, that's what we know. And then we have the volume, yeah, initial and final volume. So I written down here, uh, thirty liter and fifty liter. Liter need to change to SI unit. Yeah, you must change to SI unit. Uh, 1 liter is 1 dm cube. Uh, 1 ml is 1 cm cube. Uh, I hope you remember this. Okay, you ho I hope you remember this. 1 liter is 1 dm cube. So 30 liter is 30 dm cube. Uh, and then this deci you must change. Uh, you must change to meter cube. Yeah, you must change to meter cube. So deci is negative one. Deci is negative one. Negative one times three, you get negative three. Okay, negative one to the power of three. So negative 1 times 3, you get negative 3. And same goes to 50 liter, become 50 dm cube. So deci is negative 1 times 3, negative 3. Uh, so we already have the unit in uh, meter cube. Okay, we already have the unit in meter cube. Now, um, uh, we already have the volume. Uh, the temperature also we have. Find the pressure change. Uh, so pressure change, number one, pressure change is the final pressure minus the initial pressure. So the final pressure is, uh, yeah, the, the first situation is uh, considered as initial. The final situation is always the final. Okay, so um, final minus initial pressure is the change in pressure, so, uh, which is P2 minus P1. Okay, P2 minus P1. So we need to find pressure 2 and pressure 1. Uh, it's not given. So we need to find. So how? Uh, we use equal this formula. PV equal to NRT. Okay, we use PV equal to NRT to find P2 and P1. So we already have, um, yeah, we have the volume and also the temperature. Temperature is constant. Temperature is constant because isothermal process. So this means that uh, this temperature is uh, constant. So that means temperature 1 will be equal with temperature 2. Be temperature 1 equal to temperature 2 because constant temperature. Uh, so we can find the pressure. So we already got the temperature 
and T2. So we just need to find pressure. Number of mole also given, 2 mole. Uh, so N is equal to 2 mole. Okay, so let us find the pressure. Okay. Uh, so for volume 1, uh, then it will be P1V1 equal to NRT1. Uh, if condition 2, we have P2V2 equal to NRT2. Uh, so let's find each of them. So uh, we need to find the pressure 1. So pressure 1 uh, times uh, volume 1 is, uh, okay, already in SI unit. Uh, make sure in SI unit, don't put liter. You must put meter cube. So already in SI unit, meter cube, then we can substitute. You must change to SI unit first before you can substitute. Yeah. Uh, the number of mole, the number of mole is 2 mole. Okay, so just put as 2 mole. 2 mole and then uh, R is 8.31 and then temperature 1. What is temperature 1? Yeah, 300 Kelvin. Uh, 300 Kelvin. Uh, make sure the temperature must also in SI unit. Absolute temperature. The temperature, this temperature must in Kelvin. Must change to Kelvin. You cannot put as degree Celsius. Okay? You must be in Kelvin. So, okay, done. So, uh, I can find the pressure. Find the pressure one, so pressure one is equal to uh, 1.662 uh, exponent uh, 5 Pascal. Uh, that's it. That is the pressure one. Now I need to find pressure two. Okay, so I need to find the pressure two. Let me do a boundary first. Um, yeah. So, uh, yeah. So let's find out the pressure 2. Uh, pressure 2 times volume 2. Okay, volume 2, liter already changed to meter cube, SI unit. Okay, must change to SI unit first before we can substitute. Don't substitute liter. Okay, so 50 exponent negative 3. And then what's the number of mole? Okay, it's still 2 mole. Um, 8.31. So what's the temperature? Yeah, constant temperature, constant temperature. So the T2 also equal to 300. Uh, T2 also equal to 300. Okay, so what is the pressure 2? Let's find out the pressure 2. So pressure 2 will be equal to uh, 9.972. Okay, 9.972 exponent for Pascal. Okay, also SI unit. So you already got the pressure 1 and pressure 2. Uh, actually, this pressure 2, you also can use another way to do it. To find it. Because this is a constant, iso uh, this is an isothermal process. Isothermal process with constant temperature. Const if temperature is constant, that means it's only the pressure volume changes. When temperature constant, when temperature constant, means it is just the pressure and volume changes. So pressure and volume changes, that means uh, we use the PV, e PV equation. Uh, P1V1 equal to P2V2. Uh, okay? Uh, so we, we, use, we can also use P1V1 equal to P2V2. Uh, then we also can find the... Can find what? We can find pressure 2 out of this. Uh, okay? So... Uh, we also can use this way because we already have P1 and V1. Uh, so this is actually what we call uh, Boyce's Law. Yeah? This is a Boyce's Law. This Boyce's Law is uh, under the isothermal process. Isothermal process. When temperature is constant, only the pressure volume changes. Pressure volume changes. Okay, so here also we can find pressure 2. If we don't want to use PV equal to NRT, we can just use the Boyce's law to find the pressure too. That's one way. Now, uh, we already got the pressure, pressure 1 and pressure 2. Now, we just find, we need to find the change in pressure. Change in pressure. Just take the final pressure minus initial pressure. Okay, so what's the value? Give me the value. Um, so, final pressure minus initial pressure. So, it is a, a 9.972 exponent for minus um 
Okay, minus 1.662 exponent 5. Okay, so that's our pressure. Yeah, P1 and P2. So find the change in pressure. Minus out. Okay, so what do we get? Yeah, we get negative value. Okay, we got a negative change in pressure. Uh, 6.648 exponent uh, 4 Pascal. Yeah, that's it. So what is the negative means here? What is the negative means? A uh, negative means that when the delta P is negative, that means the pressure has decreased. Ah, uh, when the you know the when the pressure delta P is negative means the pressure has decreased. Okay, pressure has decreased. Being uh, pressure, no, uh, pressure is decreased. Okay, uh, that's for delta P. Now, lastly, uh, want to find the amount of work done by the gas. Uh, in fact, why he say by the gas? Uh, he say by the gas. That means this this is a work done by gas expansion. Uh, yeah, expansion volume increase. Expansion volume increase work done by the gas and the gas work done by the gas to push up the piston. Uh, so the work done is positive. Yeah, for the yeah, referring to this one. Work done by gas means the gas do work. When the gas do work means positive work done. Okay. Um now um this is a uh, what formula can we use to find this work done? Okay, first you check uh, what process is this? This is a isothermal process. Okay, this is an isothermal process. So it is a curve graph, curve graph, isothermal process. So we use the formula nRT ln v2 over v1. Remember, this is the formula for work done. Oh, for only the isothermal. Uh, isothermal process. Okay, we got this formula. <laughs> I already written here. We okay. This uh work done formula is the work done is the formula for uh work done in isothermal process. Isothermal process only. Okay. Now uh, what is the number of mole? Okay, two mole. Good. What is the temperature? Yeah, temperature is uh constant. Constant at 300 Kelvin. So we've already got the value. So what is V2? Okay, what is V2 over V1? V2 over V1 is actually V final over V initial. Okay, uh, the V final minus uh, V final divided by V initial. Uh, then we can get the work done. Okay, let us get it. Yeah, so the number of mole is 2, uh, 8.31 uh, R, and then temperature is. Uh, What's the temperature? 300 Kelvin. Okay, that's our temperature. Uh, 300 Kelvin. And then ln, uh, what is our V2? Okay, also in SI unit, please. Yeah, SI unit only. So 50 exponent uh, negative 3 over uh, 30 exponent negative 3. Ah, that's our V final V over V initial. Uh, so we can cut the common. Yeah, we can cut the common. So um, what is the final answer? What is the final answer? So I got the answer for um, equal to my work done is a positive value. I got a positive work done uh, because work done by gas. The, man, the question also mentioned work done by gas. So you should get a positive work done. Okay, so positive uh, 2547, 2.547 exponent uh, 3 joule. Okay, uh, so what, what, uh, this, what does this tell you? Uh, that what is the positive work done means? The positive work done means uh, the work by gas. The work by gas. Okay, for during expansion, uh, during expansion and 
act, uh, volume increase. Okay? Uh, yeah, it also mentioned the gas expand. The gas expand isothermally. Uh, so here he say expand. Expand means volume increase. The work done is uh, positive. Work done is positive. Okay? Uh, so yes, you got the work done is positive. Work done by gas expansion. Uh, so that's it for um, these questions. All right? Hope oh, I uh, covered everything. Okay. Mm, yeah. So thank you very much. Yeah. So look out for the uh, question nine.